And we are all systems go for round two. Super Mario RPG. I think I got the picture looking about as good as it's going to look for right now. Always welcome. Welcome, welcome. I'm excited. Level six. I think I'm about a fourth of the way through here. Maybe even further, considering how I finished the, the last game at level 21. Level 21? Six stars. Well, okay, you get the seventh at the end, I guess. All right. Let's do it. We're already in Moleville. We're ready to go. It's early in the morning over here, seven o'clock. So I may have a bit of an early morning voice. Do a little bed jumping. It's the little things that make this game great. We just do this for a while. I believe I got this game to remember if I got this game after the Nintendo 64 came out or around the time. I don't know. Um, but I remember one of the coolest parts of Mario 64 was that you could just have lots of fun running around and jumping. But back at the time, and even today, I still feel the same about this game. Just fun to jump on stuff, run around. It's great. At least for me, it's kind of a similar feeling. All right, um, I was thinking there was something I wanted to do before I started doing all this Moleville business. But maybe not. 348 coins. Let's see if we can't get this Geno equipped. What's up? It's an emergency. Dinah's trapped in the mines. Alright, we got Dinah and Might <laughs> trapped in the mines. Come on in. Don't be shy. Everyone's up on the mountain, but I'm stuck mine in the store. Alright, let's get some good stuff. Ooh, we already have access to the to the good stuff these things are great all right so one for everybody okay one of these maybe I should buy maple syrup I don't know Gonna be stingy, stingy for a little bit. Oh, you know what? I forgot. That's what I need to do. Ooh, that's some good. Those are some good boosts. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna roll with Mario wearing the work pants. So we're at 34 and 25. Yeah, that's not much of a downgrade. All about glass cannon Mario. Hello, old Coop Cullen. Nice to see you. Long time no see. Playing the good stuff today. 7 a.m. over here. I'm guessing it's early afternoon for you. Excellent. All right. Um, I almost forgot the little sentimental reunion between this bratty little kid. The older I get, the more this kid seems 
like one of the most realistic characters in the game. Excellent. Gino, you came back. Mommy. This is the Gino I was talking about. What a fabulous costume. <laughs> Alright, Gino, let's play. I wish I could, but Mario and I must leave now. <laughs> this is like Poochie from The Simpsons. My people need me. Missing star pieces. Oh wait, we're gonna explain the whole thing. I love how this game does this. This could be really boring if they didn't do all this pantomiming. That's how it used to be. <laughs> do you get it? I'm guessing no. Nope. <laughs> you lost me. I feel like there's like a Norm Macdonald joke or something that goes like that. Or maybe, no, no, no. I don't know why I'm thinking Norm Macdonald. That w that's a kids in the hall thing, <laughs> I think. There's a whole skit based on, you lost me. Let's just say that if things stay the way they are, your wishes will never come true. So you mean even if I grow up, I won't ever be strong and cool like you? Alright. Watch, he's gonna give me a... Uh... Well, Mario needs all the help he can get. <laughs> I love that. Holding him back. He's ready to go punch out the kid. Alright. That's a promise, alright. Kids in the Hall, I wasn't either, but I started watching it a few years ago and I was like, it's everything I wish Saturday Night Live could be. It's so much better than any, it's, it's probably, I would say, for me it's the best sketch show since Monty Python. It's not quite up to the level of Monty Python, but it's it's the closest thing to it, I think. Um, this is yours, Gino, so take it along with you. But also very Canadian. What? He just gave me what I just bought. <laughs> right? Oh well. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Well, I mean, this kid has been talking trash about Mario the whole time. <laughs> Kids got no sense. But yeah, that's that's the kind of risky stuff that Square was able to get her, get away with with Mario. <laughs> Angry Mario. People are trash talking him in this game so much, actually. Everybody ragging on his mustache. His blue collar fashion and everything. That's definitely one of the most fun things about this. Alright, this guy isn't here yet. There really isn't much else to do other than be happy that you saved the town. Alright, I'm out of here. Time to save the next town. What a game. I love this game. This is one of the most bingeable of the Super Nintendo RPGs, of which there are many.
lost all of his shelled dudes. Most of our allies have run off. What will we do? <laughs> now, I imagine this guy wasn't even fighting anybody. Like, he's just wandering around aimlessly. And <laughs> That's what I imagine happened. People just abandoned him because he's just leading him around in circles. Mario fears I've been kicked out of my own castle. My reputation will be ruined. Even I have an image to keep up, you know. Show him who's boss around here. <laughs> now he's just gonna walk around in circles again. If only he had, uh... If only this was the Super Mario World Bowser, he could just use that, uh... little helicopter -y thing he has. Go right back into the castle. Alright. What's up? Star drop in the mountain. Trap some kids inside. To make things worse, one of the men folk be stuck inside too. Please, Mario, you gotta help us. She's still working up a sweat. Alright. Lots of gossip in this town. Both are doing their best from the inside. I'm digging from the outside. What a good Samaritan. <laughs> yeah. He just doesn't know what to do. It's kind of funny. Well, Mario at least knows that the princess isn't in the uh, castle, so that's why he's rowing around in this area. Now, why Bowser is in the area, I have no idea. Unless he's prioritizing the princess, too, without telling his troops. I know you're feeling... I know how you're feeling, but moping around here ain't gonna help a thing. Struck a nerve. That's what I told her. I don't know if I'd be feeling any different if I was there. <laughs> Alright. The old entrance to the mines. I guess they never heard of a ladder. If only that fellow, uh, Mario were here. He could reach that in a heartbeat. Well, speak of the devil. I'll be a Goomba's uncle. It ain't him in the flesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hop up on our shoulders. So, old Kukulin, you play any uh, good games lately? Or you just been keeping busy with the daily life? Alright. Oh my. I'm trying to avoid any unnecessary fights. Because I want to stay somewhat low level in this game. I think the surprising amount of challenge is part of the fun of this game. Hey, have you heard? There's a rare item hidden in the mines. If I find it, I'm going to sell it to someone in town. I'm in it for the money. <laughs> At least he's honest, right? Alright. I know what we got to do here. There's a little loop. Ah, okay. We need the bomb. And we know who has bombs. Back from the very beginning of the game. Nice bag full of bombs. What do we got in here? Mario, you come to save us. One problem though, this is a dead end. We need a bomb to blast through here. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Find a bag full of bombs. Maybe just a single bomb. There's only one way to go, and it's very painful. <laughs> Who put this here? <laughs> this blew my mind when I was a kid.
I think fighting Krakow at this battle was one of the first times I actually got my party wiped in an RPG. Listen up. Let's leave this halfwit Mario here and split. Anyone got beef with that? <laughs> Everybody's like a New Yorker in this game. Oh, oh. He took the coins. Chase Krakow and get these coins back. I kind of want to look into who translated this game or uh, localized it. I think this is one of the best localizations of that era. Hoo boy, looks like a dead end here, but not to worry. <laughs> I've got a bomb. Never leave home without him. Alright. Alright, let's find these little mini thieves. What the? Why, yeah, you oughta. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I missed that. There's a lot of nuance to this uh, timed system. That's one thing I noticed playing some newer games that try to do this. They don't have the level of uh, detail. Like each type of weapon for each character has a different timing. And you can get a really good hit. You can get a mediocre double hit. You know, you can... There's a lot of gray area in this system. I think that's what makes it a little bit more fun than some of the other modern games that have tried to do this. Darn right, you're gonna run. Big money, 20 coins. You just wait, we'll get you for this. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but someday. I wonder about this localization. I feel like they just made up a bunch of stuff that was not in the Japanese version. But I'm totally fine with that. This is extremely entertaining. We're getting technical here. They use a standard frame data system. So, I don't, I'm not entirely sure what that means, but I think we're in agreement here. Because, like when I was playing a game that tries to do this, like for example, I Am Setsuna, which I like that game, it's either like, you get it, or you don't. And uh, it's kind of like an all or nothing sort of thing. And it's easy enough to get like the double hit, as you can see here. Well, no, apparently not with, <laughs> not when Gino's missing every turn. But see, there's a huge variety here. I got a 98 there, whereas before I got 158. It's like the degree of accuracy is so much. Ah, you mean like, uh, we're using like standard game engines and stuff, so they're gonna kind of run similar to each other. As opposed to like how this game would have its own engine. And so the timing and precision and everything would be built specifically for doing what this game does. See, Gino should be doing as much damage as Mario. Well, okay, maybe not. Mario has the pants. You wear the work pants in this game deal the damage. Makes sense, yeah. But what blows my mind is the level of quality these games came out with back in the day, but also how quickly they made them. That blows me away. But it's it's like that with a lot of media too, right? When you think about stuff like how we used to have hand-drawn animations and now everything's computer animated. 
And it's just not gonna have the same kind of charm level detail to it. I remember, for example, my uh, my wife was really big on the uh, Disney remakes when they first came out. So, uh, so we went to see the uh, remake of The Lion King. And, yeah. It lacked a lot of soul. It's just like, generic computer animated version of The Lion King, basically. Although I did appreciate that there's a different voice for Simba. Baby Simba, I didn't like the Jonathan Taylor Thomas version. Yes. Software hardware prevented games from getting too elaborate, so the more elaborate things got, the cheaper it. You know, it sounds like you're... <laughs> it sounds very similar to uh, a game that I've been playing for the last month by the name of Starfield. <laughs> um, there's so much stuff in that game. Uh, everything ended up being a lot, uh, a lot less than what it could be, I guess. A game that I am enjoying, but I know not to go too deep into it because it's going to disappoint me if I do. I'm so bad at this now. See, that's part of the what makes this game good is how how hard it is to get like the actual precise stuff. Every time I play through this game, I have to spend like half the playthrough relearning how to do the super jump. Very buzzy, buggy because of the way Bethesda tries to make things more immersive. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, a lot of games are a lot better for being more linear. I gotta agree. But yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff in that game, but then... No, no, there's a lot of stuff that... Yeah, no, there is a lot of cool stuff in that game. A lot of stuff is just, like, touched on once. And then never cool again. I was almost in the zone for a bit. think that's blockable. Alright, what am I doing here? How did this guy... How did this guy beat me when I first played through this? Come out the back. You gotta take me down first. Take my items? Alright. Oh, uh, that's not good. I should have used the syrup before then. So crap at this. Never gonna get that prize. Oh my god. A little bit quicker to block that one. Gotta be quicker on that one. No, I'm I'm enjoying Starfield enough to, to that it's kind of like I was not interested in the Elder Scrolls and Fallout stuff before, but I think now I am somewhat interested in Elder Scrolls. Um, I definitely understand what people mean when they say Bethesda Jank. <laughs> they still got some of the most hideously animated characters that I've ever seen in video games. I go back to the NES. <laughs> Alright, I gotta be quick on this. Boom! Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah. This guy packs a punch. 
That's what makes the challenge of this game pretty formidable. The enemies do some serious damage. Alright, and this is my last super jump. Fourteen. So I can't seem to get above like fifteen right now. The window gets a little bit tougher as you get higher. Here's your junk. I'm out of here. Whatever, over ten seems to be doing well enough for me. So what's your favorite uh, Bethesda game? More of a... Uh, from, what I, from what I've seen, I think I may be more of a... I might be most into... I don't know which one. One of the earlier Elder Scrolls game, like Oblivion or Morrowind or something. One of those really old ones. I think I might want to get into one of those. Alright. There's got to be a way to save, right? Well, who knows? I'm not afraid of Punchinello. Punchinello. <laughs> what the star? It's probably in the back. Thanks a million, Mario. Let's mosey along now. <laughs> I like how he just tries to, like, include himself. Counting on you to find the kids, you hear? I can't blame him. If I were him, I'd want to go with two. They're my kids. Alright. We go up, see, or we go down? I think I know what happens if I go down. There's a fun little thing here. Fun little pointless stuff. This is why I like... <laughs> it's one of the main reasons I like older games. <laughs> just, what was that? They went through all the trouble to just program that in. Who knows why. Wait, maybe there's something behind there. Oblivion is great. Skyrim, Skyrim is more simplified version. Okay. Yeah, from what I've seen, I, I like the looks of either Morrowind or Oblivion the most. Although I'm not... Definitely not a fan of first-person perspective games in general. I don't know why, it's a weird thing about me. Even with like, Super Nintendo era RPGs, aside from Earthbound, like, if, if you can't see the... I, I'm even picky about like, what angle the characters are standing at. <laughs> like, even with like, Lufia, where you're like, characters are at the bottom of the screen and the enemies are at the top so you just look at your characters backsides like even that gets on my nerves I'm very sensitive about that stuff for some reason ah okay we got a you can make them third person well that's good oh my goodness come on get out of here ah better. Alright, let me see what I'm missing back here. Was there some kind of... I think I can get back up there if I... That's it? Okay. It's a whole lot of nothing. You just get a star for going up there. We're good. Well, that makes things better, especially for like, medieval stuff. Like, I want to see my character. a lot of coinage. How many, how many coins do I have? I'm rich. There we go. Punchinello time. I feel like Punchinello is like supposed to be a combination of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh wait, huh? What am I missing here? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> He's like a mix of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, who's the guy from Rocky IV? The Ivan Drago guy. Dolph. Dolph Rundgren? Is that his name? 
What? Did I screw up? I gotta sneak up on the guy. There we go. Maybe he's got a little Steven Seagal in him. Is that Steven Seagal hair? There we go, Dolph Lundgren, there we go. Yeah, that's what I notice about Starfield. I'm trying to shoot a gun in third person. I'm just screwing up the whole time. But I do like how I can switch to third person when I'm running around planets and stuff. Good day. The name's Nello. Punchy Nello. No, I, I'd say this guy's Steven Seagal. <laughs> Never heard of you. They say I'm a hothead, but I'll show him. You will make me famous. So long. All right, we're good. What's my plan for this fight? There really is no strategy, just super jump. Just always super jump. Alright, let's see what he says. This is always a fun thing to do. Yeah! Yeehaw! I see we're already famous. Uh-oh. I love that, like, delayed reaction block stuff. That's good fun. Oh my goodness. Poor Gino. I need to get a different weapon for Gino. Doing crap with these finger cannon thing. Thing is, for the first like 12 or so jumps, it's really easy. So I can't really tell where I'm going wrong once I get to 13. But I'll get it. Now there might be some strategery here. <laughs> They're very hilarious. I don't even know how... Like, this game is kind of... This is a very in-between... I mean, it's a kid's game, but it's like an older kid's game, I'd say. Makes sense because Mario came out in the 80s, right? You know, what's really funny is about the remake. Apparently, Shigeru Miyamoto thinks that the peace sign is too childish, so he took the peace sign out of the game. Which is like one of the most central things of this game. I always thought it was more of just like a super common Japanese thing than a childish thing. Throwing up the peace sign all the time. Alright, see some items. Gino. He's supposed to be the hardest hitter. I mean, I can't figure out this finger cannon, so he's just gonna be Mr. Item. At least he's got the best item animation. Pulling stuff out of his hat. <sighs> Did I get 14 there? It's clobbering time! <laughs> this is no joke. Alright, what am I doing? I should probably heal up, alright? animations in this game. How oh, did I screw up? Oops. Goodness. Alright. Let's just focus on Mr. Punch. Especially with Mario. 13 again? Yeah, it's every, every time it's 13. <laughs> Hehehe. 
very... Yeah, exactly, right? Well, I guess childish to someone Miyamoto's age could mean a lot of things, you know? Those childish 40-year-olds throwing up peace signs. I don't know what I'm doing. That's the way it was when I played through this game last winter. I was scratching my head about getting past 13 for about half, half the game or so. And I eventually figured it out. Arr! I must be dreaming! I'm ruined! Didn't want to do this. Now I have no choice! This guy reminds me of like an angry Ren from Ren and Stimpy. I think he's bluffing. Simmer down, Fluffy. Not gonna waste this on you! Who knows what might happen? Take your best shot. <laughs> I got my pride. Now you're in for it. What the hey? Look at that. They just made this animation just for that. This little mouth open thing. They didn't need to make that frame. Why isn't it working? The rhythm between that. I love it. I've had 14 a couple times. That's good. Means I'm getting close. Oh, I love this part. <laughs> the timing of that is the most hilarious part. If they waited like a millisecond longer, it wouldn't have been as funny. <laughs> if this thing explodes, we're history. <laughs> uh, so let's just mill about. Let's scram now. Whoa. Whoa. It's going to blow. <laughs> After all that, it didn't do anything. <laughs> what on earth was that? <laughs> I guess that's plot armor is what that is. We won the battle. Now I hope we don't lose the war. We're dying in the star. Good old Gino keeping the... Thinking of the children. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love that. <laughs> just... Just a little dust bomb. I think I remember when I emulated this game in college because my Super Nintendo was at home. I think this is where the game first started glitching out, right during this star scene. This is probably the Super FX chip doing its doing the hardest work right here. Just these spinning stars. No joke. <laughs> yeah, my emulator couldn't handle a bunch of spinning stars at the same time. <laughs> I wonder what parts of the FX chip... Like, I wonder what parts of this game required the FX chip. And what parts didn't. That'd be a cool thing to get into. It's like, what exactly does the Super FX chip do for each, um, for each Super Nintendo game? So I saw some good videos about like, like Super Mario Kart and stuff. How even Super Mario Kart Super Early Game, they had extra chips just like packed onto the, the inside of the game pack. Even like a lot of NES games, like the Konami games and stuff had these extra chips in there to give it more power. So I wonder what is it about Super Mario RPG that makes the Super FX chip necessary. Care to read the warning? Uh, I guess I forgot how to control it. A or Y to break, B to jump, and press X to boost. Okay, what am I going to do? Break is very important, so A is break. Should we do YB or... Alright. My muscle memory is a little bit off on this. I used to be really good at this. I 
I went crazy about every single possible mini game in this uh, in this game when I was younger. Like I knew exactly where to boost. Not there. I already screwed it up. Maybe this is a better place to boost. to do is just cruise through this part, just boosting, not doing a thing. Should probably learn where the mushrooms are as well. Yeah. No! I missed it. I should be boosting right now. Nice ode to the mode seven. Oh my goodness. I may have missed a shortcut or something. No, here's the shortcut. Oh yeah, at least I got that. What the? be getting old with my reflexes. Oh my god. It's about as bad as it can get. It's embarrassing. <laughs> oh my. I'm trying to remember what the prizes are for doing this mini game. Goodness, I didn't even... Alright. <laughs> oh well. Wonder how those kids are doing. Sure wish they'd hurry home. My kind of sense of humor. Settle down, woman. I asked Mario to help us out, so I reckon he'll bring him back when he's good and ready. <laughs> Just have this odd feeling they'll be dropping in on us any minute now. <laughs> the most obvious jokes. So we gotta use the door like everyone else, Ma. Now settle down. <laughs> this this game's sense of humor is super built on like just I don't know if you'd call that fourth wall breaking or something but you know the characters are always intentionally dense about something though just really really overemphasize the joke to you gracious they really did drop in on us my poor babies are you okay little mite are you hurt we're okay, Ma. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Isn't that right, Mite? We had fun. Mama, Papa. So knock senseless. You poor baby, you're safe now. She went into the mines by herself, huh? Just happy to have him back. Is that the roof, you say? Don't matter none, right, Pa? Just leave any repairs to me. Thanks for bringing our babies back. Alright. Found Dinah, Might, and a star piece. Where's Toad Stool? Ba bum I don't know how they're going to do this game without the peace sign. I'm going to change the peace sign to like the 
into like a fist or something in the air? Like what are we gonna, I don't know, we'll find out. Soon find out, in a few weeks, what they changed the peace sign to. Ah, the Sniffits, there we go. Come back, Mr. Beetle. Don't you want to come to Boosters and play? Don't run away, we just want to play. We'll take good care of you. Uh, like what they said. Okay, Mr. Beetle. Ah, you just gotta be like St. Francis over here. St. Francis Mario. <laughs> Dare touch that beetle. That's right, just hands it over. Nice and easy. Or we won't be your friend. Mr. Really, really, really likes beetles, but he can't catch his own. He's busy keeping the princess from the sky entertained. So we're catching beetles for him. See, even this is a joke. They're like, I wonder where the princess is. Well, we'll tell you. <laughs> Pretty please? We got our three stooges over here. Oh, I love it. I love how this game is just willing to take massive detours like this. Um, like going off to Booster. Doing the whole Bowser princess business. Hold my wife, Doug, is a shortcut to the trolley. It's amusement ride. I named Mulville Mountain. Ain't that nifty? Drop in here, you'll be right at the trolley tracks. It only costs you 10 coins. So I just have to beat the high score, maybe? Um, I guess I'm guessing if I beat the track it's just gonna like I think I'm gonna just gonna be able to bet against my previous score let me see alright I'll wager 30 coins I guess if I beat that crap time then I will uh Win some more coins. It's making this mini game just, just about pride. It's just for pride's sake. And as we've already seen, Mario is a very proud, proud person. Doesn't like that kid with the Geno doll. place to use a mushroom right there. What do you say? We can make under two minutes here. That's my dream. Probably not going to happen, but we'll see. I don't know if this technically is the fastest way to do it, but this is just the way I always did it as a kid. It's like they tell you in football, don't leave your feet, right? You lose speed. Alright. Just don't crash a million times. That's where I should have boosted. Alright. What if we go here? Taking every wrong turn possible. Or maybe not. Maybe that wasn't so bad. Oh no! my plans. Okay. Well, at least I shaved like maybe like 20 seconds off of this, maybe.
maybe like 15 seconds, not as much as I thought, but hey, it's better. What? Six seconds? <laughs> I only lost six seconds last time. All right, well, I'm done with that. Here's 50, you lucky dog. Any, anything else? That's it? All right, fair enough. <laughs> all right, now we get all this stuff, the per 10 storm. Yeah, I want a shiny stone. Bring me a fireworks. Ah, so I need some money. I don't have 500 coins yet. Wish I had a carbo cookie. Me too. Me too, buddy. I want a carbo cookie too. Maybe I can sell some stuff. Ah, this guy too. Found some neat stuff. Come take a look what I got to sell. Lucky Jewel. <sighs> I should probably look up on like the Mario Opedia to see what that Lucky Jewel does. I guess you can just use it to get a Lucky, so you can do the little slot or the cup and ball mini game. Oh, you telling me my old shirts and pants aren't worth anything? <laughs> I can sell a finger shot. There we go. Alright, now I can afford the fireworks. But do I want to afford the fireworks? Yes, yes I do. Can't get inside very easily. You need a really strong person. Alright, who's selling the fireworks? Alright, somebody's selling it. selling the darn fireworks. Trolley Ryan is fun. Can we, can we go again? Alright, who's selling the darn fireworks? Oh, it must be here then. What the? Okay, there we go. You like fireworks? I'm working on my very own invention right now. Got the sparklers down, but I ain't giving up. $500 for a sparkler? For a darn sparkler? off gossiping again. I will check out Booster's Tower. Alright, how, how many coins I got? Ten. That's how you want to play this game. You don't want to have maxed out coins. Shiny stone. Yeah, buddy. Excellent. Alright, off to Booster. Let's see, we're 54 minutes in here. I think we can get through Booster. I think we can get the star after that. And we'll see from there. Booster time. I love how they include these like generic little traversal levels. Kinda makes everything seem very Mario-y. It's like a regular Mario level, just mixed in. A lot of jumping. Alright, what am I looking for? Ooh. It's over here. Nothing. Oh! Something! I did not find that on my last playthrough. I must have triggered some old memory from when I was a kid. Yeah, I think one of the reasons people gravitate to uh, these older RPGs is you can play through them in, in like 20 hours, but then you can just keep coming back to them and doing all sorts of stuff. Whereas nowadays it's the same thing except 
you can complete everything in like 200 hours now in modern games. So it's like, once I've, as much as I do love Xenoblade, it's like once I spent like a hundred and some odd hours getting through the main story, it's like, it's time to rest from the game. Whereas this game does not wear out as well. Alright, Booster has such a nice place. I miss my fortress. Miss the good old days. Old school screaming in terror. Mario rushing in to save her. Bars, there's tears. Jeez, it's Mario! It's okay. Calm down. Don't let him see you with it like this. Hey, how have you been? No, not like that, dummy. It's wrong tone. That's like the Han Solo reply, right? Um <laughs> Oh, we're we're all fine down here, and how are you? <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> Alright. You, what are you doing here? Toadstool were at my castle waiting to be rescued. She'd be crying like a baby. <laughs> Speaking of which, poor girl. Oh, did I just hear some voices? It couldn't be. Can't believe it. It's Mario. Mario. Well, that's shocking. That voice, it's Toadstool. Thought she got away, but she's been stuck here. Mwahaha. Well, I guess I'll be returning to my castle now. You know, no big deal. No Koopa Troopas. Out of my way, shorty. That's my guess as to why they all abandoned him. Because he's spending his time looking for the princess instead of actually getting the castle back. It's locked. What? You're still here? Look on your face. I get it now. Out of my way, shorty. That was quick. Piece of work, ain't I? All this power and looks, too. I know, I know what you're thinking. Big, strong guy would <laughs> like him would be great to have along, right? Gotta do something I may regret later. I'll let you join the Koopa Troop. You can thank me later. He just elbows his way into the group. Sign. No, no, I would not. All right, so, um, sorry, Gino. I love you, but all right, we need some work pants for Bowser. So let's trade that out. Bowser's gotta be fearless, right? For my head cannon. Alright, we're good. Yeah, Bowser's key for this uh, tower. It's weird music. Hello there. Boost is busy right now, so he can't play. Come back some other time. Or you could try to force your way in. <laughs> oh my. with a tank. This blew my mind when I was a kid. I thought this was the coolest thing. I had a Bowser in my party all the time. Like, what? Bowser joins forces with Mario. Like, all bets are off in this game. Although I think he did join forces with Mario at some other time. Maybe. Later on. Oh. See, I thought these guys were just gonna chat. Alright, whatever. Remocon. Oh. I just got that. So that's what they must call a remote controller in Japan. A Remocon. I think that's what they call it here in Korea. If 
I remember correctly. I just I get the timing better with Bowser's little claw attack better than other things. What do we do? Left, right, middle. Any votes? I'm gonna go right. I think. Oh yeah. This is one of the little fun things. How much you want to bet I get on the first try? Booster the first! Like Picasso over here. Booster the second. Who's he look like? Uh, I don't know. Booster the third. He's a pirate. Boost of the fourth is Dracula kind of dude. Who is this supposed to be? The second one. Looks familiar. Like a Billy Mays or something. <laughs> okay, boost of the fifth is Macho Man with the bandana. Boost of the sixth is our current booster. Alright. What a cool character. I don't think he's ever come back since this game, right? That's one of the characters I'd like them to bring back. If they had Booster in Mario Party, <laughs> I'd be Booster every time. I'm Booster. This is my famous tower of amusement. Normally, I welcome visitors to play with me and my sniffets. However, a girl fell out of the sky and into my lap recently. Since then, I've been busy keeping her happy and entertained. No longer have time to play, so please enjoy yourself. At your own risk, that is. <laughs> what a great character. Big toothy grin. <laughs> Please refrain from bothering Booster. He's got a big toothy grin. He's a very childish, playful, young at heart psychopath. What's not to like about this guy, you know? Got the disgusting, overgrown beard. <laughs> Eyes bugging out. I just, I just love it. I wonder who came up with Booster. Was it one of the... Actually, I, I wish I knew a lot more about this game. Like, was it just a complete Squaresoft team with permission from Nintendo, or did they have a good amount of Nintendo oversight? Did they have, like, a mixed team working on it? It's probably all things I could find out. I'm sure somebody's made some interesting YouTube video about it. Alright. First time every time. moment there. Oh yeah. It's one of the best weapons. Look at that. We're going from 74, one of my favorite numbers, to 94. Oh baby. So Bowser is, oh he's 95. So Bowser is just overpowered. Okay. That's good. It makes sense. Oh wait, he has the work pants on. That's why. Alright, again, Picasso, some dude, Picasso, bald dude, pirate, vampire, macho man, and current booster. Let's remember that. Mini games galore! Like a nice real life version of Booster's Tower, you know? A lot of fun, 
very dangerous. What's that loud noise outside? Oh, Alright, gotta remember to check out Booster's Pass after this, right? I think it's going to be streamlined the best if I check it out right now, actually. Especially since I can jump right down. Let's see. Oops, I missed this time. <laughs> Good thing I got it on the first try. Alright, let's uh, get that extra booster's pass business. All the good stuff. Actually, let me see my coins. Okay, I got enough money to buy some more work pants for Mario. He's a working man. That's it, huh? Alright. Yeehaw. Alright. Let's grab some working pants. For Mario. Equipment seems to have a lot. Hmm. Can't carry anymore. Are you kidding me? Do I have items everywhere? What am I doing with all these u useless cookies? Alright, I can just use some flower tabs. Let's just get rid of some of these honey syrups, shall we? Oh yeah, the special attack boost, that's what I like about, about the work pants. Alright, so... I think I will use this little store. Okay, got it, got it. <laughs> you won't get any money, but you'll get points. She's got her first EFT scam here. <laughs> or something. She's like GameStop, right? I won't give you any money. I'll give you some points. <laughs> Rid of three of these. <laughs> I'll probably never come back here. Whatever. Time to move up to the old maple syrup. Just chugging a maple syrup in the middle of battle. That's what you need. And I guess you would be able to have the energy to bust out a special attack after just <laughs> chugging a bottle of maple syrup, right? Let's do a quick save. Let's go back to Booster. Again, we start with Picasso. Second one is the Bald Booster. Third is Pirate Booster. Fourth is the Vampire Booster. Then we get the Macho Man Booster, right? Yeah, there we go. I'd like to think that's Macho Man. motivational speaker <laughs> of the 80s and 90s. Alright, here's some fun. <laughs> Mario Odyssey, eat your heart out.
Hello, cursed blessing. How's it going? Nice to see you. How are you doing today? Alright, we got sniff sniffit number three, right? Which means we've faced all the sniffits. Done playing Terra Enigma. Uh, I've never played that. I, that's correct me if I'm wrong. That wait, is that one of those games that came out in Europe, but it didn't come out in North America? I think that's it's one of those deals. So I never had the chance to play that one. Terry Enigma, is that like a, se a sequel to something that was... I think it's like an action RPG, right? If I ever do get my funds together to to get a, an EverDrive, then that's one of the first on my list to play. Part of the Lose Heaven and Earth trilogy, Soul Blazer, Illusion of Gaia, Terra Enigma. I think I've played around with Soul Blazer and Illusion of Gaia a little bit. Yeah, those are. That would be a fun little trilogy to go through. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Take a look at Booster's family portraits in order from the oldest to the youngest. All right, Picasso, bald man, um, pirate, vampire, macho man, and current Booster. <laughs> just comes right out of his mouth, just bleh. <laughs> The guy who's too busy to play with us, he's like, he just couldn't resist. <laughs> he's like, yeah, you know, I do have the princess. Oh, no! Chain chop! They gaze into each other's eyes. Mario, she's a bit shy. Look the other way, will you? Turn around now. She says she's been locked up ever since she took a bite out of Booster. So now she wants to help us stir up a little trouble. <laughs> Excellent. Good old Chain Chomp. Yeah, I, I just love the idea that Booster's like trying to do his whole wedding thing. He's obsessed with it, but at the same time, it's like he honestly. He likes the idea of getting married in the princess, but honestly, and deep down, he doesn't really care about it at all. He'd rather just be playing, I can tell. He just wants to play. I think that's part of the appeal of the whole wedding to him, too. It's just another form of playing. This booster's just some weird, eccentric, rich... <laughs> Like, I, I just imagine Booster is like the, some weird, eccentric, rich nobleman 
<laughs> or something, you know? With a giant castle, nothing to do with his life, just spends his days playing dangerous games. Love this guy, Booster. Why am I screwing up on that? I'm a little bit early on that chain chomp attack. There's always something. <laughs> All right. Where am I trying to go here? Left first, or wait, what the? Why, yeah, you gotta. Mm, perfect block. Lucky. There we go, we gotta be nice and late on that. See if I can do the cup and ball thing. Hmm. Is it just the black? No, no, who knows? <laughs> I guess it's not just the black squares. Any square without a coin is gonna have these guys on it. Joke and attack. Excellent. Now I got the chain chomp down. I don't have the time for that. For six for six experience points, no thank you. Kidding me? <laughs> All right. This guy's dodging everything. see what's behind here. can't remember. Something good for sure. This is just so loaded with frog coins. Considering how hard frog coins are to get early in this game. It's pretty wild. Zoom shoes! Oh baby. Hmm. 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 Speed up by 10. Healers speed up. Speaking of which, let's use one of these flower tabs. Got a bunch of flower tabs burning in my pocket. Oh yeah. The amount of wealth this booster has is unbelievable. I just love it. He just is crazy, rich, eccentric, giant child. Man child. I'm guessing we haven't seen Booster in any game after this, which is very sad. No Booster, no Geno. But maybe that will all change. That's probably my biggest hope as far as a game that needs a sequel. I want to see Mario RPG 2 legitimately. Although, I will say the Mario Luigi series was called Mario RPG 2 and 3 and 4 in Japan, so I don't know. But 
it's definitely not the same thing. Chug a chug. Oh! <laughs> chug a chug a honk! It's my personal railway. See, he just can't resist play with, playing. <laughs> eh? He's just playing by himself. <laughs> my, it's you again. I'm amazed you made it this far. Yes, quite amazing, you are. Since you're here, maybe you could clear something up for me. My bride to be is chanting, Mario help me, Mario help me, Mario help me. Is she is she showing her happiness? Hey, wait a second. Maybe Mario is another guy. What if you're this Mario she keeps talking about? Trying to take my bride away? Why don't you take this instead? This is so hilarious. I just give you a little window. A little bomb proof thing. about good crying animation. You definitely get those Bowser one up on that. Alright, I know there's a hidden treasure chest or two in this room. Whoops. Goodie bag. That's worth tons of money, right? Pack full of coins. Right, might as well save. Alright. What we got coming up is a big deal, I believe. Oh, yeah. A little beetle cage up here. Big toy box. Ugh. When I retire, I want to be just like Booster. Except not single. <laughs> but Mario, you did come to rescue me. So frightened and lonely. But now that you're here, I think we need Booster's spell to undo the lock on it. What should we do? Hmm. Ha! Booster's returning, isn't he? Hehehe, <laughs> this is so fun. <sighs> Mini games everywhere. Good luck hiding for Booster in the snippets. It's too fun. Well, wow, shouldn't we be concentrating on the girl? Right. <laughs> now about the girl in my life. Who thinks I should marry her? Well, speak up. Wedding ceremony would make a great party. Aha, party. We haven't had one of those. It'd be fun. So, what is a party? <laughs> I love this guy. Well, you drink punch and eat cake, I think. I want to have one of those parties myself. Mmm, drink punch, eat cake? Sounds complicated. I don't know if I can muster the energy to do it. Let's walk there once. Wedding rehearsal time. <laughs> we will now begin the ceremony. Walk down the aisle with the, hey, someone make her smile, beautiful bride to be. Wait, Mario always shows up about now to ring the phone. Let me just find out who Mario was. You got to take that into consideration, you know. Someone go get the Mario doll. He already knew who Mario was, and he... Ah, uh, that's great. Couldn't find a water for your fish. It's behind those curtains. Number one, you go and look. They're so blind. The amount of care... There's, there's gotta be like 20 different mini-games in this... in this main game. Isn't here. Wouldn't go and lose my Mario doll, you idiots. <laughs> Number two, you look too.
Nope, it isn't here. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Such a weird thing. <laughs> like they just keep opening the same curtains over and over again. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> this is better than a party. Look out, because here I come. <laughs> Wait, a uh, second. It's right up there. I found the Mario doll. <laughs> I'll never be able to reach it up there. Oh, the sorrow. What am I going to do? <laughs> About to lose it. I want to screen cap this right here. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Goodness, you're so kind. Thank you for getting my doll. <laughs> I'd like to reward you. Here, take this. Has no completely over his head that this is Mario. May happiness follow you wherever you go. <laughs> All right, enough is enough. Cancel the rehearsal. We're going on with the show. Here's the password. Mule. Wait a second. Oh well. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Alright, I'm gonna go save. Because if I screw this up, I'm gonna be missing out on a lot of flower points. The first run through of Booster's Hill is a big deal. First run through gives you all sorts of good stuff that you don't get later on. Now let's do it. Wait, you took all the trouble to come here, so stick around. Which action movie was that from? I think that's an Arnold line, right? Stick around. <laughs> All right. Um, what am I gonna do? I think these guys say funny things. Let's let's do that. Nice guy or great guy? Nice guy. Seven hundred. Happiness is hit. What? Ah. Uh. I just needed like two more to get to 30. That's the goal, right? I think I got it. I was I've been I've been pressing it too early. That's what's been stopping me at 13. All right, let's try it again. Zangief move. Ooh, that's good. Alright, one more try. Knife guy seems to be a good guy to jump on. Forty-eight, baby. 
what I'm talking about. Ooh. <laughs> Two away from 50, though. That's a little disappointing. All right, let's take this guy out. He's scared, so he's going to be taking extra damage. I can wake him up. Let's see what Drake guy says. Peace is just a dream. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why they gotta be so depressing? Huh? Eh, well. Anyways, that's a good way to do tons of damage. Is that super jump? All right, what do we got here? Finish him off with some regular attacks. He's got the fear status effect, so taking tons of damage. All right, I'm not gonna reset no matter what because I already got 48 jumps. That's phenomenal. about as good as I can do. It's about as good as I've been able to do in my life. Just all of a sudden, just clicked. And then I lost it again. <laughs> so, that was wonderful. Wonderful. Alright, we're an hour and a half into the stream. It's about the halfway point. We're just about to Head to the last part of the booster parts, one of the most iconic parts of the game. In Mary Moore. Please let me go, won't you please? Pretty please? Huh? Who's talking? <laughs> Where's my pride to be? <laughs> Wanna play hide and seek too? Yuck, I don't want to play anything with you. What a poor sport. Well, we should really hurry along. Yummy cake is waiting for us after we climb this hill. Let's go. <laughs> no, I don't want to marry you. Please let me go. Mario, please help me. Uh-oh, it's Mario. We didn't plan on this. Yes, we did. You did plan on this. <laughs> Mario, aren't, you aren't invited to our wedding. Besides, we still have to get to the rehearsal. Be happy to race through the wedding hall. You just can't resist the game. But, better not get in my way. Ready? All right, good fun. No. Get out of my face, Toad. Yeah! <laughs> oh! Ah! Oh, there was one extra flower. No! Yes! No! Hard to do it without the barrels. Right, we got three. Four. Okay. Okay, there we go. It's good enough. We got seven. Whew. Oh, eight. That's good. Good enough with that. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Adrenaline is pumping. Welcome to Marymore. Your lovely wedding hall. Four star hotel facilities. Please enjoy your stay here. What? You're seeking a man with the face of a totem pole? He's up the wedding hall. Well then. Let's have a quick saverino. Alright. Let's see. Do I need to heal up? No, we already got a full heal. Yeah, but we need some flower points. So let's do that. <clears throat> How's my coinage looking? Not great. No big deal. Oh, this poor kid. We were about to begin the ceremony when some kids wearing dark clothes kicked us out. Help! Booster's wedding is in progress. We barricaded the door, so don't even bother trying to sneak inside. <laughs> Came all the way over here to give these two a proper send off, and look what happens. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like he needs to go somewhere. Fast. Good old toilet humor. This must be a first perfect couple who isn't going to live happily ever after. I give up. My dream to stay in the suite after we got married. This is supposed to be my wedding day. All my plans have been ruined. Poor guys. Who's a nutcase who blew and screaming it's time for my wedding? Just who does he think he is? Face. He and Princess Toadsword would know. What? <laughs> I'm the best photographer around. Alright, let's do it. Let's crash the old wedding. First, we gotta find out the little clue. I'm not letting you in here. You can forget about the back entrance. It's locked. I mean, I think it is. Wait, isn't that the back entrance? There we go. <laughs> Alright. Oh, my favorites. Yeah, the groom with the bee ordered something special. Wait until he sees this. We bake a cake for the big wedding. It must be masterpiece. Chef Tort. <laughs> what, what? What are you doing? That's nice. You just stepped on the... You fools! <laughs> I love it. Oh, who goes there? You look like Mario. The door's shut tight. Listen, mustache. You and your overgrown turtle friend can take a hike. Go scat. Make Mario like make like Mario and jump out of here. Get lost. Oops. We got a problem. <laughs> this is just so hilarious. Hmm. Everybody's got extreme HDD. Right? Now I can't open the door. <laughs> I gotta go tell Booster to keep Mario from getting inside. Mario, will you help me break down this door so I can go tell Booster? <laughs> Oops. Alright, let's try it again. Oh! <laughs> Booster, sir! <laughs> Just crash into him. Mario's here. You clowns, don't break a door down when entering a room. Shut it, shut it now, move it. Mario! This peace sign is great. Pretty sure Mr. Mustache can't break in here, but that turtle looks pretty mean. He could be trouble. They have no idea what they're up against. Lightning in a bottle, earthquake in a can. Bust this open in no time. Oops. <laughs> Kablamo. <laughs> Ow, watch what you're doing. I've dropped my shoes, my ring, my brooch, and my crown. Booster, sir. <laughs> Just tosses her up there. Booster, I, um, don't bother me now. Okay, everyone, the bride is growing impatient. Let the wedding begin. What's this? Water? Coming from your eyes? Are you leaking, my dear? It says Booster who cries all the time, right? <laughs> what a hypocrite. 
tastes salty. Booster, sir, I believe the bride may be, uh, crying. Crying? That's what people do when they're sad. How disgusting. That stuff must be corrosive. It tastes like the sea. Could be making her cry anyway. Her wedding gear. Aha, of course, she's dropped her gear. Those tears will ruin the cake. Make her stop before Mario breaks in. <laughs> Poor guy. Can't catch a break. Booster, sir. Hurry and find her, sir. Her things. We have to get in the way with the wedding. Alright. 10 4, good buddy. You find her stuff, I'll move the ceremony forward. Hurry! Just testing like this, right? Found the ring. Here's the brooch. Found the shoes. Hey, wait. There's, isn't there one more thing? Alright, let's see. Oh, no, are you kidding me? Okay. Big time limit. Don't want to get kissed by Bowser. Alright. Oh, are you kidding me? Hi! Alright, there we go. <laughs> I think that was fast enough, right? Mario, you're finally here! <laughs> what is Bowser doing here? What a waste of time. I got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> Bowser playing it cool. No, oh, I'm getting hands when you're around, Mario. Here's a kiss for my hero. Back when Toadstool actually kissed Mario. You're gonna kiss him when I'm the one who saved your skin? Me too, I want a reward. I'll take a kiss. Give me a kiss. I'm getting so confused. Mario, let's start with you. Let's see if it works out. Let's see if we got the kiss. Hey! Last time I think I got a booster kiss. <laughs> hey oh. <laughs> Feels like sandpaper. <laughs> yeah, Booster's beard does look like sandpaper. <laughs> Mario with the red face. <laughs> what the? Now that's one for the scrapbook. Come Mario, let's get back to the Mushroom Kingdom. The Chancellor's waiting for us. <laughs> Mars is like, okay. Sorry to have kept you waiting. We've made, we've made the most amazing cake. You won't believe it. At least cake. But where are bride and groom? Where is everyone? It's a big trouble. The bride is leaving? Taking the bride away? But there won't be anyone to eat this cake. What? This can't be. We worked all day on it. You fools! <laughs> super, super angry chefs. All right. Let's find out what Chef Torte is thinking. Chef Tort. Cake. Watch the cake. Good hint. This only makes sense to bite the cake. Stumpy! Yeah, it's funny, this whole booster section just doesn't make sense without Bowser. You gotta have him in the party. <laughs> Ouch! What are you doing? Chef Tort, the cake's moving! Russ, he's not moving. Back to the... Oh no, I'm losing my French accent. Okay, I'm gonna give up on the French. I had it for a second there, but now I lost it. 
was fun while it lasted, being able to do the French accent thing. Outrageous. <laughs> French accent. Gotta watch some more Monty Python. Cake's moving! Talk no more of this. No, really, truly. Why would I lie? Because you are idiot. Z is not moving. Huh? <laughs> Z cake's alive. Run. See, I was right. Let's go. And this boss is actually a little bit tough. I can't remember what makes it tough, but I think you just gotta hit it a number of times. I don't know, I can't remember what it just packs a punch. I had no idea it was gonna take a bite. <laughs> this reminds me of uh space balls. about what pizza orders out for you. you. Gotta watch that movie again. Oh my goodness. I can't... <laughs> can't get a good gauge on that attack. doesn't heal status effects though. Well, I don't think it matters. I think you just gotta hit. So the candles are out. If we're good. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Oh my. <laughs> I was just arguing with somebody on YouTube the other day about how this game is actually hard. This game is no joke. I bet a lot of kids got completely blocked by this boss. Alright. Might as well use my items. Oh yeah! See? Look at that. You're encouraged to use your items. Got a freebie. Just spontaneously duplicating items. Is that it? Is that it? Oh yeah. Now we gotta take on the stump. Goodness gracious. Do I wanna know how much HP? Oh, it's HP rain. Maybe I should have given them able juice. So I kinda wanna do this. I'm gonna get get up to that heights of that 48 again. I 
and six. There we go. This is Booster's wedding cake, you know. We'll have a fit if we nibble on it. <laughs> hey, number one, where's my cake? Booster, sir. There's a 70% chance the object you're standing on is a cake. This thing's a cake? Uh, seriously, you got a candy bar and a candy cane sticking out? Okay, everyone, here's the stumper. How do we eat this? I say we boil it. Dude, what do you say? Way too messy. <laughs> Why don't you just swallow it? What? In one gulp? It's easier said than done. These guys are too much fun. I would actually like to hang out with these guys in real life. Booster and the Snippets. Come on, Booster. You can do it. Open wide, please. <laughs> my nerves are shot. I feel like I've forgotten to tie my cord before a bungee jump. Here it comes. Wait, wait. The cake just moved. Concentrate, sir. This doesn't feel right. <laughs> Delicious. So good it makes me want to cry. Congratulations, sir. The wedding is now officially over. Thanks, everyone. It's a wrap. Let's go. He didn't even care about the princess to begin with. Only thing Booster cares about is having fun. I love it. That was wonderful. Mario, you're my knight in shining armor. Finally, let's get back. I almost got married to that thing. But I hope someone marries me someday. Interesting. Back in the day when Princess was romantically interested in Mario. Now the uh, poor kid gets to relieve himself, finally. <laughs> I think I should uh, take a quick break to relieve myself as well. First, I gotta let the kid, you know, <laughs> gotta let this kid uh, go first. Creepy guy just left. Does that mean we can go on with our wedding? Yeah, but they ate your cake. Let's get this wedding over with so we can just stay in the suite and go on to our honeymoon. What? <laughs> All right. Does anybody think like that? Let's get the wedding over with. Back to start from the beginning. Back inside, please. <laughs> Gotta check up on this kid. Raz, he found himself a real peach. I can't take it anymore. Me too, I'll be right back. <laughs> Fitting time for me to take my bathroom break. Be right back.
All right. Thanks for sticking around. She's so gorgeous. Rainy's so beautiful. All right. Wonderful. Happy ending. This pretty much marks the halfway point in the game, I guess. <laughs> Tis my melody, my tune, composed by the one and only, and yours truly, Tarofsky. <laughs> Toad version of Tchaikovsky. How about this? <laughs> All right. I love the idea of some composer organist <laughs> like complimenting himself as he's playing the song. Oh yeah, this is good. It's good stuff. It's our turn next. I've been waiting for 30 minutes now. Oh, you wouldn't believe. Alright, let's do some other fun Mary Moore stuff. Now this kick will stay put. Yeah, I have my French accent's all messed up now. Alright. <laughs> Photo bomb. Hey, you there. My long face. This isn't a funeral, you know. All right. The count of three. Say ah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are we saying ah? It's your ski season. Oh, how sweet. All right. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, so are we gonna stay at the honeymoon suite? There are reasons to stay at the honeymoon suite, but first, I think we want to get some items, right? I'm not sure though. We might. If we get items right now, one thing's. One thing's for sure. Let's get rid of this goodie bag. Alright. Super hammer, I don't think it's gonna be an upgrade. I already got the monster mash weapon. Handgun. I'm not even sure if the womp or the chomp shell. Chomp shell is a downgrade too, I think. So, we get the happy stuff. Oh, why, my students have been singing this thing. It must be some meme or something where they say, happy, happy, happy. I have no idea where it's from, though. If anybody has a clue, maybe you can give me a hint. Alright, so, happy pants, happy cape. Detail break. There's too much stuff. I'm just gonna get it all. You know? Why not? Happy paints. Happy cape. Everything is down? Okay, just work pants are good for uh, Bowser. Now, happy shirt could be an upgrade on defense. We want to keep his magic attack up because of the jump, right? Alright, let's get rid of these darn symbols. Um, Alright, Gino's... Oh, we got Princess now. Oh, baby. No happy dress? Um, I think there's stuff you can do with this beat hover in. Alright, let's... Let's see, who are we gonna use? Let's let's switch it up, right? Mallow's my healer. So let's switch with Toadstool. Let's just switch up the whole deal. Even though Bowser's still in good shape. Let's uh let's throw the amulet on this guy. Mm -hmm. I think we're looking good. 
Now, time for some backtracking. We gotta go back. Mario! Chancellor's waiting. We're going back right now, right? I guess I can do the thing. Everybody seems to like this part, so I'm just gonna do this for fun. No, of course not. Mario. Chancellor must be worried sick about it. You saw him before. Come on, let's go. Not gonna do it. <laughs> Mario. If we don't get the princess back, we'll be charged with kidnapping. Let's go. No! Mario. <laughs> no, one, no one is authorized to kidnap the princess except me. This wouldn't be right. Okay, okay. I have to, what happens if I say forget it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Everybody's beating on Mario. Alright. So there we go. We got that. Nice little animation. What up? <laughs> Excellent. Say, so you and I get hitched in a few years, okay? Just give me time to grow into my mother's wedding dress. Nana. -na. <laughs> Excellent. Say hey, welcome back. Chancellor's been worrying about you ever since you left. Come see me later. Okay, I guess I'll have to remember that. Can I buy this game from this kid? Oh, I don't have any money left, do I? I have a little bit. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, hold on. It's the highest score. All right, yes, I'm done here. All right, once I get 500 coins. It's good to be poor in this game, though. You, you find plenty of coins everywhere, so... Gotta remember to come back so I can play Beatlemania. Mario, welcome back! You look like you're in one piece. Say what? Finally home, and with Mario! Some wonderful new friends. They saved my life. Let's go find the Chancellor. Lead on. Come on, Mario. We mustn't keep the Chancellor waiting. I think when I first played this game, I thought the Chancellor was like her dad, but I guess it makes more sense. She's the, she's the royalty. He's like the, the, the prime minister. That's my guess. Or, or she's appoint, or he's appointed by her or something. All right. I know at one time I saw Samus in this bed, but I can't remember how to get her to appear. Well, let's talk to the old grandma. Princess hasn't returned yet. Princess! Hello, grandma, I'm back. So she has a grandma. Who's her dad, though? It's just on my way. See you later. Mom and dad. Where's the mom and dad? I wonder if that is supposed to actually be her grandma, or if that's just like what they would say in like J Japanese, they'd call an old person grandpa. Or grandma. Chancellor, the princess, she's back! <laughs> Thank goodness, this has been a true nightmare. I'm a nervous wreck. I'm fine, I can take care of myself with a little help from Mario. <laughs> I love how proud Mario is in this game. Let's get out of this drafty doorway. Mario, I hope you know how thankful we are. You must tell me one thing. How on earth can you trust Bowser? Trust Bowser? What are you talking about? <laughs> I love how nobody can see the party. Mario, what are you doing with... going on here? <laughs> Bowser just plays into it. 
Listen, everyone, relax. Mario's got things under control. What did you mean when you said you had bigger fish to fry? Can't tell him the truth. This gets out. I'm finished. There, there, Bowser, old buddy. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Perhaps I can set the stage. The others can add their comments along the way. Princess Bowser and Mario were thrown in different directions after a terrible explosion. Something huge crashed through the star road high above Booster Bowser's place and went kaboom. And look at the face. <laughs> right into Bowser's keep. It's a gigantic sword. Bowser's keep has been taken over by monsters who work for some creep named Smithy. Thrown me out of my own. I mean, I decided to take a vacation. They can't do this to me. Working on a plan to get my house back when Mario walked up to me and begged me to let him join the Koopa Troop. I had no choice but to let him in. It was pathetic. It's okay, Mario. We know Bowser's stretching the truth a little. Mallow, how about you? Why are you traveling with Mario? Mario's helping me find my real home and parents. That's why we're on the road together. What? This is dreadful news. Awful. Horrible. Hope you find your real parents soon. You know what is it? Why are you and Mario? Star Road has been destroyed. I'm here to fix it. Alright. Star pieces? Star Road grants our wishes. Unless we find all the star pieces and fix the Star Road, kiss our dreams goodbye. This is dreadful news. Awful, horrible. Isn't it? <laughs> Love the sense of humor in this game. Without the aid of Star Road, you'd probably never be rescued. Hmm. Sounds pretty good to me. Let's just forget about these star things. Hey, Bowser, and then you can just kiss your precious keep goodbye. Ugh. <laughs> Mario can't find the stars. Toads will be mine. I'll get my keep back. <laughs> just ignore that idiot. Let's go find the star pieces now. You can't be serious. Is this the first time? I don't know. Mario 2 is the first time the princess goes out adventuring with them. But that was in a dream, right? So this is like the first real time when she's out there, out and about, playing the hero. She's overpowered in this game, too. I think you need to lie down in my room for a while. Mario, Mallow, Gino, and Bowser, you too. Good luck. Now then, declare the state to be known forever as... Wait a minute, you don't suppose. Could it be the smithy who attacked our kingdom? We have no cause to rejoice. In fact, Mario must ask you for yet another favor. You must defeat smithy. This is great. We're at the midway point in the game, and we already rescued Toadstool. Talk to Toadstool real quick. Let's see what she's got up her sleeve. Good luck, Mario. Okay. okay. Let's do a quick Samus check. Is there Samus here? No Samus. I wonder when you have to go here to find Samus. Hey, old Kukulin. She's overpowered in almost every game she's in. Yeah, the floaty jump. You can skip like a whole bunch of content in Mario 2 with her. And there's that floaty jump! <laughs> yeah, Princess is always overpowered. Please, Mario, take me along with you, please. Don't worry, Grandma help you through this one, so no one will ever notice I'm gone. Let's go find us a star. wonder where it could be. Mario. Times like these. What should we do? Ask Grandpa. Let's do it. Just as I thought. Postal joins the party once again. You got this, like, narrator. He just comes in, pops up with a sentence or two every once in a while. Avoid fighting the pointy monsters up on Star Hill. I can't even remember which monsters are pointy. Alright, um... 
do 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 why am I Gino and Bowser? Oh, because they took Toadstool out of my party. Alright, we're gonna do Toadstool. She's already level 9. I guess this game just assumes what level you're supposed to be at. And since I've been doing kind of a uh, very few encounters, I'm under level compared to Bowser and Toadstool. Fair enough. Alright. Giant detour is over. Now we're back to getting stars. Well, after a little tadpole pond trip. You know what? I gotta find the Moleville Miners Blues first. Smash Bros. Oh yeah, she's really highly ranked in Smash Bros. I tried to use her for a bit, but... I realize with Smash Bros, it's like, I'm... <laughs> There's something I just don't get about Smash Bros. It's so fun, and I can just completely wreck the the uh, CPU. Then whenever I play Smash Bros against somebody else, I just get completely destroyed. I played Smash Ultimate on uh, the Switch online. Every single battle I get. <laughs> Creamed. I have not won a single battle. Of course, they're all one-on-one -on -one with, like, no items and stuff, but... Okay, where am I going to get the mobile miners? I think I have to go into the mine. So let's see what we're up to here. Is it here? Down here? I think it's right by the place where we bombed. Hear the Moville Blues? Well, all right. Digging deep in the me. A piece of paper or something. I'll just remember. Me. Do. So. Do. Re. La. Okay. <laughs> La ti do. Okay. Mi, do, so, do. Re. Re, ti, do. Really? Okay, let me see that again. I'm screwing up my soul fedge. Re, la, ti, do. It's a weird jump going from re to la. Alright. Almost never do that. In normal music. Two to six. more often the other way around. Six two. Um So let's go talk to Todovsky before we forget that. Mi do so do re la ti do Is he here? So we got Do is right here at C. So we can do it. Oops, I missed my chance here. Okay, oh, that's why it makes sense. It's the high ray, and then we're jumping down to La. That works much better. All right, we got it. No way. Are you kidding me? This whole song is from, like, a Final Fantasy thing? That's awesome. That's it. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. I want to actually go and listen to that, see what the fourth, the true fourth part would be. You get to compose the fourth or fifth part by yourself. Just 
It's like the music business today, you know? People who actually write the music get none of the glory. <laughs> this guy just takes all the melodies and runs off, makes money with it. Just gives me a drink card in exchange. Tenor card, eh? <sighs> I don't have money right now. But I'd like to have something like that. Whatever. Oh, really? The background is totally Kokobo. Yeah. Interesting. That is good. But the little steel drum part is Kokobo, too? I can't wait to play the remake. If they actually have real steel drums. <laughs> That's one of the cool things about remakes. It's like, you can't screw up the remade soundtracks if you just use real instruments. Oh, the... Yeah, the little... Yeah. It reminds me of... It reminds me of the, uh, the... The black Kokobo from, uh, Final Fantasy IV. Large star has been sighted on Star Hill. You don't say. <laughs> wonder why they call it Star Hill, huh? But I think you have to go back and talk to him, otherwise you don't get that little tip. That little golden nugget of information. <clears throat> Alright. Star on Star Hill. Ah, oh, it's so, so good to go back to these Super Nintendo uh, RPGs. Talk to the flower. The Stargate will open. This is Star Hill. Wishes, which were transformed at the Star Road, fall from here. But some wishes that haven't been granted yet are fallen because Smithy destroyed the Star Road. Frogfucius mentioned hearing about a star piece on this hill. See if we can find it. Wish I had some cricket jam. <laughs> Me too. Well, no. No, never mind. <laughs> what the? I didn't expect him to come that way. They said avoid the pointy monsters. There they are. Yeah, going back to these Super Nintendo RPGs is just too good. Oh, that's why you gotta avoid them. I think if I didn't block that, that would have been instant death for me. Look at me. Got the skills. Blocking skills. But yeah, I'm trying to play my way through all the Final Fantasies. And I finally have a way to play Final Fantasy 3. Because again, I don't have like a... <coughs> I don't have an EverDrive or anything <coughs> to load up the original translation. Fan translation. I wish I weren't such a crybaby. This one's private. Who do you think you are spying on other people's wishes? I love it. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's a good wish. Can't wait to start a family. That's Raz and Rainy, I guess. What do we got? We got any more good wishes here? I guess not. Wait, what was this? I hope my baby's cute. That's just lots of people's wishes. If I could just get that melody, it's Todovsky. <coughs> Except we're, we keep making his wish come true. The hunger. Oh, for some food. That's Balome. <coughs> the tattooed dog. Alright. Now it's to that point in the morning my <laughs> throat's clearing. I want to be a world class baker. Chef Tort. Come on, he already is world class. I mean, he can bring sentient life. He can make a sentient cake. Who else can do that, huh?
Please let Mallow find his way home. Why, this wish is from my mom and dad, wishing for me to come home. They composed them such a cool little song here that's only used like twice in the game for like <laughs> 15 seconds. No time to be crying, They're waiting for me to come home. All right, good old Mallow. He warms your heart. Would be the best treasure hunter in the world. Sounds like what uh, Locke calls himself in Final Fantasy VI, so I'm guessing that's gonna be uh, Krakow. Right? Unless it's that guy in the mines who's trying to find. trying to get rich. He's in it for the money, that guy. I want to be a great plumber like my brother Mario. I like how I like how humble Luigi's dream is, you know. And that's it. There's just a star here. <laughs> I often wonder if there's like some missing content here, you know? If there was supposed to be something else happening on this hill. Just like, ah. Uh... We don't want six stars, so <laughs> let's just throw in a easy star in the middle. Maybe it's just to balance out all that extra time you spent at Booster's Castle. There we go. Now we're more than halfway through with the star pieces. Come a long way, but your journey's not over yet. There are three more star pieces. <laughs> See, wish I could run faster. Whose wish is that? If I become famous. It's just a lot of people. Alright, so there we go. Heading to Seaside Town, one of my favorite places. Use the bathroom real quick. Well, actually, no. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think I got a, another 30 more minutes in me. No, maybe I don't, actually. <laughs> okay, I think I have to cut it here. I'm going to see if I can find somebody to raid. Um, sadly. Sadly. Let's see if I remember how to raid people. <clears throat> Let's see. <sighs> yeah, I would be going longer, but I have to go do lunch with the in-laws at 10.30. So yeah, thanks for coming in. You have a good evening, old Ku Cullen. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. I get somebody... Da -da. I can't really find anybody to raid at the moment. Can't vouch for anybody. <laughs> anybody got an idea? No, I guess not. Alright. Yes, catch you down the road as well. I don't know anybody who's streaming at the moment, so... We're just gonna sign off. Bob Ross? Well, Bob Ross... <laughs> Sad thing is, Bob Ross won't know whether we're watching him or not. Alright, well, let's have a wonderful, wonderful day, everybody. I'm out. Wish I could stream for a couple more hours today, but we'll be continuing either two days down the line, probably two days down the line. And we'll be getting close. Probably two more streams we'll finish this game. <laughs> Bob Ross all the time. It's good to watch that guy. All right, have a wonderful day, everybody. Adios. It's been great.